Okay, here we are with this month's main used boat feature. Uh, in this case, we're doing a Sea Skip Sea Ranger 39. This is quite a rare beast, made back in the early 1980s. The hulls were laid up in Taiwan and then they were brought over to Holland where the boat was fitted out. It is a traditional trawler yacht and the interior fitting and build is of the sort of standard that you would have expected at Grand Banks um, many years ago. It's a boat that's over 30 years old. It's been refitted with new diesel engines, uh, Perkins Sabre engines, 120 horsepower each, uh, giving it a top speed of about 12 knots and a cruising speed of eight knots. So a lot of money spent on it over the years. It's been refitted, refurbished, new electronics, engines rebuilt, um, and it's only 77,000 um, pounds. For someone who wants to do some sedate trawler yacht cruising, this could be a perfect bargain. So let's go on board and have a look. Here we are on the foredeck. As you can see, the bulwarks are about 18 inches tall. No chance of you falling overboard. Great if you've got young children running about. Great if you've got dogs as well. Um, proper, decent deck hardware. A hardcore windlass, serious anchor. Takes in pretty good order. She is a true little ship. One thing I love about this style of boat is the fact that you get a raised cockpit. Beautifully elevated, you get great views all around, and it's only a short three steps from here up into the flybridge. It's a beamy boat, so you get a fantastic cockpit. Again, it's hard to believe this is a 39 foot boat. And then three steps up, and you're into a very large flybridge. There's no doubt about it, it's a very pet and child friendly boat. These high bulwarks, high guard rails, this mesh infill here around the cockpit makes it very safe to move about on deck while underway. For me, being a dog owner, yeah, it gets a thumbs up. Just one thing I would say, whoever buys this boat needs to spend a bit of time treating the teeth. Well, like any good trawler yacht, she's got a Proper little ship's helm, beautifully uh, varnished. All the teak is in great condition. It's been refurbished at, at some point in its life, that I know for a fact, and you can clearly see it. It's also been refitted with a set of modern electronics, modern navigational equipment, radar, chart plotter, etc. Uh, modern DSC radio. Um, everything you'd pretty much get in a modern trawler yacht that's gonna cost you six, seven times as much. The main attraction in any aft cabin boat, of course, is the aft cabin. Um, with a trolley yacht, you always get a gigantic aft cabin because it uses the beam to the full extremities both on both sides. Um, this boat for 39 footer, this aft cabin is really quite impressive. I've seen 45 footer aft cabin boats that have got smaller cabins than this. Let's take a look at the ensuite heads because here we've got a marble worktop and a small bath. 